Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel Programming Knowledge. In today's Microsoft Excel tutorials video, we are going to see in detail the application and usage of the approximate match parameter of the VLOOKUP function. In the previous video, we saw that VLOOKUP is available in two variants. First is the approximate match and the second is the exact match. And uh, in brief, we just discussed about what is the difference between approximate match and exact match. So in this video, I'm going to cover uh, approximate match in detail for the VLOOKUP function. And apart from that, I'm also going to discuss about some of the rules of the VLOOKUP function that needs to be followed. And if they are not followed, then it results in some kind of an error or unusual result, which we do not want. So uh, first of all, we are going to look at the approximate match parameter of the VLOOKUP function. But before that, uh, let us first revise uh, our VLOOKUP function a little bit. So the VLOOKUP function is used for looking up the values in the vertical table. Now, what is a vertical table? A table that has the column headings is known as the vertical table. And if we want to search any value in a vertical table, then we can use the VLOOKUP function. Now this VLOOKUP function accepts four parameters. The first parameter is the lookup value or the value that we need to find or search in the table. The second parameter is the table array, which is generally the whole table from which we want our values to be searched. The third parameter is the column index number, which is the index number of the column whose values needs to be searched. And the uh, fourth and the last parameter is the boolean value which uh, stands for either approximate match or exact match now exact match uh, only shows the result when the condition stands true and approximate match searches for approximate values as well and if the exact value is not present and any kind of uh, an approximate value is also present then it gives the result the exact match in that case results in an error so uh, let us understand the usage of these two parameters with the help of an example. So this is our table one in which there are two columns. One is the sales column and the second is the commission column. Now here we have been given some records that uh, if a person makes sales of a particular amount, then how much commission he is being paid by the company. So if the person makes no sales, then he is given no commission. If he makes a sales of $100, then he is given a commission of $5. Similarly, on a sale of $1,000, he is given a commission of $50. And on the sales of $10,000, he is given a commission of $100. Now, on the basis of this, we have given a criteria. And on the basis of this criteria, uh, we want to find that how much commission does a salesman receive. So in this table, these two tables are exact same copies. And uh, both of them have three columns. First is the name, the second is the sales amount, and third is the commission received. So uh, here are six names of uh, our salesmen uh, and the data that how much sales they have made. And now we need to find out that how much commission they are going to receive. So for that, what we are going to do is perform a VLOOKUP function or uh, apply a VLOOKUP function to find out that how much commission they received. So first of all, what we are going to do is uh, start writing our VLOOKUP function. But first of all, I'm just going to show that what happens when we provide a VLOOKUP with an exact match. So for that, what I'm going to do is come on the second record for Roger, who has done a sales of $800. And uh, the table that I'm going to refer is this table. So this $800 is not present exactly in the sales column. So for uh, this, I'm just going to apply this VLOOKUP function as equals VLOOKUP. The lookup value is going to be my sales amount. The table array is going to be this whole table. The column index number is going to be two and the range lookup is going to be exact match. So I'm putting a zero over here and closing the parenthesis, then press enter. So you can see that uh, we have got hash na, which means a non availability error. And that is cause we have used this exact match. Now, if we just extend it to all these uh, other records as well, 
then we have got answers for only two records that is for uh, sam whose sales amount is hundred dollars because a uh, hundred dollars sales uh, uh, amount is present in our table and for thousand dollars as it was also present in our table now what if we uh, write approximate match so for that uh, i just come over here and write a function for approximate match now just press we look up uh, provided with a lookup value which is nothing uh, but my uh, sales amount then provide it with a table array like uh, this one then put a comma and provide it with a column index number and now i'm going to provide it with a parameter as one signifying that i'm going to uh, go with approximate match now then uh, close the parenthesis and press enter now this is uh, what we have got five dollars but that amount is already present in our table and now if we just extend this formula to all our records then you can see that for all the records we have got some values except for the last record now why we have not received the value for this record and an error the reason you can see in the sales amount itself it is a negative number that is minus ten dollars now minus ten dollars is not an invalid input for it but it is considered invalid because in our sales table the data starts from zero and uh, below zero there is nothing given in the table so that is why that's a uh, non-availability error given by the approximate match now if we look at some other values like for 800 dollars we have received a value as five dollars so as you can see 800 dollars is not present in this table but still we have got some value for it similarly 1500 dollars was also not present but still we have got 50 dollars as the value and 20 thousand dollars was also not present still we have got some value for it so this is the function of approximate match now let us understand that what is the calculation process of approximate match now on the basis of this sales and commissions table uh, i have created this table which tells that what is the sales amount and what is the commission that we get uh, when we apply an approximate match function over it so if any value is less than zero because no criteria is given to us then we get an error uh, uh, when we apply this approximate match function if the amount is between zero dollars to 99 dollars then we get uh, the answer as no commission if the amount is uh, between hundred dollars to 999 dollars that is if the sale is made from hundred dollars to any amount till 999 then we receive a commission of five dollars similarly for thousand or more up till nine thousand nine hundred and ninety nine dollars we receive a commission of fifty dollars and for any amount that is equals to or more than ten thousand we receive a commission of hundred dollars so that is how this uh, we look up approximate match works that whatever uh, the value you give to it the value one less than up to it is given the previous value like over here 100 is given that it will receive a commission of five dollars so uh, the value less than it is 99 dollars so up to 99 dollars it will uh, tell that no commission is to be given now uh, if we look at some of the rules of the vlookup function then first rule is only numerical values are possible for approximate match so here i have uh, written some names like sam and ron now sam is present in the table and uh, for that we have uh, got the value as five dollars here in in the formula bar you can see the formula so we have used this exact match and in uh, the case of ron whose value is not present for the exact match we have got an error similarly if we just type sam and uh, we have applied approximate match over here so sam value is present in the table that is why we have got the five dollars as the answer but jeremy whose name is not present in the table and here we have again applied this approximate match function as you can see in the formula bar still we have got non-availability error this is because the values must always be in a numerical format for approximate match second uh, rule is the left to right movement like uh, we just provided the lookup value as sales and for that corresponding lookup value we got commission the other way around is not possible uh, if you can just see that uh, for this 
we have uh, kept this vlookup function we have applied this vlookup function and uh, we have kept $50 amount so this $50 is what we are going to consider for a commission $50 is present over here in the commission and we just applied this function keeping the column index as 1 meaning for this corresponding commission value we need to find the sales value so for that we have got the non availability error which means that the other uh, movement is not possible only left to right movement is possible now the second uh, option is or the third rule is the lookup vector must be the first column in the table array uh, which is similar to the second rule only that uh, no uh, reverse movement from right to left is possible and there is one another rule for the approximate match only that the uh, range of the lookup value must always be arranged in an ascending order if we just see the sales amount is arranged in an ascending order that means it is increasing as we go towards the downside so only in this kind of an arrangement the approximate match function is possible so that is all about the rules that you need to keep in mind while applying a vlookup function and especially you have a, a better understanding of the approximate match so that's all for this video thanks for watching goodbye